Today we're going to look at building a weekly status report from data in Jira. We import this data using the coefficient add-on. We're going to use some functionality in coefficient to automatically email a report to supervisors every week. So here we have our data from Jira. And then we're going to quickly build a report. Then we're going to show you how to automatically email those reports to those supervisors. So we got a quick template here. So let's go ahead and put together the formulas we need. So let's go ahead and make this report date. We're just going to add today formula. And so that'll always show up as today. And then for the supervisor, we can just grab one here. Let me start with Lucy. And then we can go ahead and call this tab Lucy's report. And then we need to pull in the data from this tab. So let's go ahead and use a filter formula. And we'll click over here and grab this data. We don't really need the supervisor name. So, but we do want to match this to that supervisor name. So we can make this one equal to that supervisor. Let's pick this again, C3. All right, there we go. So we could remove these not started tasks if we want to. So if we look, that not started is in G. So we could add this here. We go G not equal to not started. And that removes those from there. If we want to leave them in, we can just do this. And then let's go ahead and make a quick summary up here. So we're going to grab the statuses. Let's use a unique formula, grab all the unique ones, and then this won't show up because it's going to go down. So we need to use this function called transpose. And now it's going like this. Let's go ahead and sort this real quick. We have to sort inside this transpose. And there we go. Now we have our statuses. And let's find out how many tasks we have in each. So let's use a quick count if formula. And then we can grab this column and then compare it to our value here. We want to drag this over. So let's go ahead and just do F4 to lock this. Then we're going to copy this formula and then select these cells, paste special, and formula only. All right, so now we have our statuses. We have the count of tasks in each status, and we have our list of tasks for this supervisor. So we can go ahead and just duplicate this, and then we have our two other supervisors, Bill. We'll call this one Bill's report. And then we'll change this to Bill. And then let's grab our last one. And then we'll rename this one. And then change that supervisor name. And now we have a tab for each supervisor with the tasks that they're supervising. And a quick overview. So now we can open up our coefficient add-on and create this weekly report. So when you have the coefficient add-on open, click on automations. And then what we want to create is a daily or weekly screenshot. And so here you can see we can pick a tab here. So Lucy, and then we can just do next. We can pick the frequency. So if you want this to go daily, or you can pick weekly, if you want weekly at 9 a.m. Then you can pick their email. Um, you can also add it to a Slack channel. Lucy's supervisor report. You can add that alert. And there it is right there. You can pause, edit, or delete that one if you need to. And we can go ahead and create another one real quick. Bill, weekly, Bill supervisor report. Then finally, let's add the last one here. Grab Carlos, weekly, and in. All right, so now we have all three of these set up, and each week they will get the alert with a copy of their report in the email so they can see where their status is on their projects. 